so it's Tuesday, Patty. It is. And we uh, we just had a really nice lunch. Uh -huh. And Patty went this morning uh -huh. to the salon. Yeah, to the salon. Um, do you remember the name of the salon? Uh, salon Karma. Oh, yeah, it was in downtown Bluffton, historic Bluffton. Saw it the other day. Our friend Sue went there before. She said, it's good. Go. They know what they're doing. And I went and um, it needed trimmed up. I was going on six weeks and he was like, oh, five weeks. And um, it was just starting to feel like a mop, as I call it. So I went in there and I had some photos already that I found from Pinterest that I keep and just kind of what I do. And the girl was like, you want to be a little adventurous? And I'm like, sure. She was going to put some toner on your color because I told her it was platinum and it was starting to grow out. And she goes, let's tone that down and then let's do a little fun, um, funky little hairstyle. So that's what I went with. It's all clean cut. And um, then chin it up. So I used pomade and I bought some fancy pomade that'll last me a long time. So it was cool. Had a good time. Nice person. Madison's her name. So I think it looks great. <laughs> it's raining out, which is why we didn't record at lunchtime after lunch. I was going to record pulling. there. But... Now we're headed into another. <laughs> it's like a Goodwill vacation. It's, it's the summer of Goodwill. It's not even summer. It's well, spring of Goodwill. We, we've got like the bug for like name brand stuff. Yeah. And you never. And know. not pay full price. Right. And it's just we're also fun. We're also trying to figure out if we should extend our trip by an extra day. Right, because right now they're calling for really good weather. After after the after today, it's going to be cooler, yeah. but then it's going to be nice. Right now, we're supposed to check out on Friday, so we'll stay tuned. We'll let you know if we decide to stay one extra day. <laughs> what would you find? L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean. But I always thought that'd be pretty to have a camel color, a dress, a shirt. Nice. That's I found a couple shirts too. So I found this shirt. This is a, I don't know, Roco wear. I don't know. I like it. $4.89. Nice. And I found another nice. Greg Norman. $4.89. Okay. Look what I found you. Oh my goodness. Try it on. <laughs> is this for um, Growing Coast or? Hey there. <laughs> Keep me from getting See, it actually says going coastal. coastal. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I like those shorts. Oh, yeah. I like the pants too. Yeah, I found these. Oh, what's behind it? I Ooh, found I like. that. <gasps> that goes good with the yellow. <laughs> yeah. You want to see what I found? What'd you find? Swim. You're going for it. I'm going for it. Why not? <laughs> Ooh. It's a size 10. Well, you can't be more than an 8, so. Bless your heart. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Bless your heart. That was quite a haul in there. Yeah. $39 at the Goodwill. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff, though. Yeah. Well, you found a Levi jeans. Levi's for $5.99. They look like brand new. They do. Yeah. And you found a new Swift suit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even buy Levi's normally because they're so expensive. I usually buy Wrangler. Yeah. But they were nice. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Got a couple more shirts. Yeah. I got a pair of swim trunks. Let us know in the comments. Would you buy swim trunks at a Goodwill? I mean, why not? Well, you always wash. It was my thing. Yeah. So we're going to head back and wash up all the stuff. You ended up getting a sweater, a swimsuit. Yeah, but the swimsuit um, bottom, because it was top and bottom, the bottom had never been worn. It still had all the tags on it. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. And well, we got two pillows because our dinette area doesn't have a lot of back support. No. So I thought maybe if we had couple pillows Those. and they're the zipper kind so you can zip them off wash, wash. them and they were $1.99 a piece if you go to home goods oh a, my god a pillow like that would easily run 20 bucks yeah that's what I'm thinking they're that Maybe. nice and uh, big all right I don't even know if this is really camping but I sure like it here yeah I just walked up to the bar slash restaurant ordered a pizza had a beer while I was waiting not finished I'm allowed to take it back so that's going to be dinner tonight. Well, 
we just had a nice lunch at the Crazy Crab. Unfortunately, I didn't film any of the food because I had class this morning. All I had had was a couple of those uh, little Pillsbury cinnamon rolls and uh, we were starving. So we just ate and forgot the film. Now, I'm gonna guess you know what we're doing next. Yep, another good will. I think now it's just become a challenge, a game. Is that what it is? Yeah, like, what can you find? What can you find? The spring break <laughs> of Goodwill. Let's go see what they got. All right. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I don't know what it is about these GW boutiques. They're not nearly as nice. Yeah, yeah, they're super small. And I didn't see a single thing in there. No. All right, so I think we're tapped out on Goodwills. I think so. I got a better idea for today. Is this better? Yes, it's better. Better than snow. Snow? Yeah. Today has been an odd day and I've not done a good job of filming. I'll just be honest with you. So this morning I had to teach a class and I got to do the same thing tomorrow morning. So tomorrow's vlog might be not so good either. Um, when you spend three hours on a virtual classroom, I don't know. Ultimately, we just uh, headed back after we stopped at Publix because you got to stock up. We like Publix, and I'll tell you why. Cabot yogurt, and Patty can find her OJ with most pulp, which we can't ever seem to find in Indiana. Um, and we also like the Tillamook veggie cream cheese dip. So we stocked up on that, take it back to Indiana with us. And then uh, this afternoon we took the kiddos out for a walk and tonight I am grilling up some dinner. So I've got the steak going. That is a Snake River Farms ribeye. Um, we've got some asparagus that I bought today. I've got some mushrooms I bought today. And then I boiled up some baby potatoes and I'm trying something I saw on YouTube called a smashed potato. I think I cooked them too long though. They smashed a little too easy. But that is going to be dinner tonight. And I'm enjoying a gin and tonic. Thank you, Ryan Reynolds. I love your gin. Oh, I should mention, we also walked up when we got back and we extended by a day. Unfortunately, this site is booked on Friday. So we are going to have to move to that site, one site over. Goofiest rule. I was told, do not move your trailer until you call valet. They will come get you and take you to your site. I'm like, it's right beside of me. Do not move your trailer. Jokingly, I said, Patty, don't you dare walk over to that site on Friday morning. This is the response I got. Oh, she can walk over. You can take your stuff over if you want. Just don't move your trailer. So, whatever. That's fine. I wanted to move tomorrow after I got out of class because this site is available. And I thought since tomorrow is janky anyway with having class in the morning, let's just go ahead and get it done. So Friday is a completely free and clear day. And we can do anything we want. We're not allowed to move tomorrow. I don't know. So anyway, it's nice. It's fine. Um, we're going to try to milk this weather as long as we can. So then Saturday, we're going to get up really early, probably drive back up into Ohio, spend the night at a Cracker Barrel, and then take it on home on Sunday. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. I got class here in about 35 minutes, but I am sawing down the board that goes under our bed so that hopefully we can easily shove it under the bed when we flip up the mattress to make it into a couch. Right now it's so deep, you can't shove it up under there. So you end up having to take it out, store it someplace. So I'm hoping by cutting off a foot, um, this will make it easier. So we'll find out. Back to sawing. Class is over. So now I don't have to focus on that. Finish off the vacation. There's Patty. We are down at the pool, ordered a couple appetizers for our lunch, and then we're probably gonna jump in the pool just so we can say we did it. Got these new swim trunks on. <laughs> new to me. Cost me a whopping $4. Actually, Patty's is also new to her. <laughs> now that wasn't actually a set, right? You just kind of put two pieces together. Yeah. And I the bottoms you said were brand new, still had tags yeah. on them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's cute, I like it. But the blue, we go with the blue, so. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> Works for me. How'd your lunch, babe? So we went appetizer route. Mm -hmm. 
we've got the pulled pork nachos and this pimento cheese dip was so good we had to get it again and then i've got some kind of local ipa that's very fruity 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 you can't beat the view I chose to cut through the uh, lazy river. There were steps down and across to this island of uh, lounge chairs. But um, I don't know, somebody's afraid to get wet. There she goes, she's taking the long way. She's gonna have to come all the way around and up and over the bridge just because she was afraid she was gonna melt. Made you it. finally made it. I made it. I need to get some steps in. You scream, I scream, we all scream for her? I scream, I scream, get me. We're going for ice cream. <laughs> we haven't had any ice cream on this trip, no, have we? No, we need some I ice did have cream. a Mickey bar that I brought. You from did. Home. You did. So, all right, we're headed to Joe's. Joe's ice cream. Is which nice. is like three miles away. So let's see if we can find this place. <laughs> all right, Patty, we got our ice cream. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Chocolate. Plain Good. old chocolate. I got a coffee Bailey's cream or something. And it's pretty good. Spoon turns blue. I know it's getting dark out, so it's hard to see. But yeah, when the spoon gets cold, it turns blue. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. What a gorgeous night, though. Look at that sunset, Patty. Wow. Sadly, tomorrow. I know it's last day. Last full day. I know. But we're gonna make the most of it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday morning, and we are being lazy. We're still laying in bed. We have to here in a little bit get around. I got to call up to concierge. I got to get hitched up. And we literally have to move one site over. So, um, and then once we do that, we're going to try to make the most of this last day here in Bluffton. And uh, I don't know. We don't really have plans, but we're going to figure something out. Now, as many of you know, we've been talking about things we would want in our next RV. And one of those was a dedicated setting area. Well, the truth is we have a dedicated setting area. We just haven't used it in a really long time. Let me show you. This is the sofa that is underneath our bed. So what you have to do is you actually have to flip the mattress up. And then this is like a jackknife sofa. We, it was kind of a pain because we ended up having to put a piece of wood where the mattress flips underneath it. Yesterday, I cut it down so I can now just kind of slide it back under. Now, it slides hard and it pulls out hard. But at least we've kind of found a way that if we want to use this couch so we can sit and watch TV or just have a place that's maybe not the dinette to set, we do have that option. All right, Patty. We're going to try something new. The ladies in the store said to come up here to God's Goods Thrift Store. They said so they have good deals. Our last day of vacation <laughs> and we're out thrifting again. Well, we did laundry. Laundry's we done. Sites. Yep. Yep, we're ready to... Get going. Oh, free items. Take to your car. Do not bring any free items into the store. Wow. Nice picture of a dog for free. Yeah. All right. I'm trying some stuff on. I found this shirt and I found that one. Joseph A. Banks. So we'll see if they fit. You can roll it up. Yeah, you can roll up the sleeve and then. That's a Chico, it. too, I think. I think so. I like that. I think it looks good on you, babe. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Wow. You got some deals. I did. It's a little chaotic in there. Yeah. Oh my God. They didn't have a ton, but what they had was pretty nice. Right. And uh, so $34 for a whole bag of clothes. Right. I got two shirts. Mine are only three bucks a piece. Yeah, I got two pairs of, I guess they call them gaucho pants, maybe. And then a top to go with them. That's Chico, and then another top that's black and white that's Chico that was really cute. And then a uh, red, kind of like sweater, cardigan type of thing you wear with skirts or dresses or whatever to keep your arms warm, so yep. yeah. Pretty good deals. Yeah. We just got done working. I know, this is supposed to be vacation. Filming our next collaboration uh -huh. video. <laughs> Seems like a great place to film right yeah, here, well, so down here, here in the sunshine, blue skies. Otherwise, we wait till Indiana. At home, it's going to be mud and rain and gray. Yeah, that's so, how it's going to be. I don't know about you, but whew, after that, I think I need an adult beverage. I do too. Let's yeah. head over to the pool area. I really do like the fact that this place has a bar, restaurant. Mm. You don't find this when you're out boondocking. No. So 
No, sometimes you gotta do a little glamping. glamping. Yeah, treat yourself. And we've had a rough winter at home, and this has been a really fun treat. So. We came down to, uh, back to Old Town Bluffton. I asked Patty where she wanted to go. She said, Captain Woody's. So we're back at Captain Woody's. Yeah, I fixed my hair, so we didn't do it. But yeah, um, it just looked good. Look at the venue. I'm like, oh, I wanna go there. The uh, pizza place next door has live music. Uh -huh. So while we're waiting for a table, we're just enjoying that. Uh -huh. And Chilling? Yeah. One last time, it's busy. I think I got some sun. <laughs> I think so. Well, this is like deja vu. It's the same, same table. Spot. <laughs> Different day, same spot. That's okay. It works. It's good. You're cutting my head off, dude. Oops. <laughs> So how was your dinner? Awesome. A little spicier than you thought it would be, right? A little bit, but uh, it wasn't too Still bad. good? Oh, yeah. I tell you what, I would say Captain Woody's has been by far the best restaurant we've I had on this so. trip. It's been, oh my gosh, just the, the, all the food that I had for 20 bucks. Yeah, I had Crazy. the fried shrimp dinner tonight. The other mm -hmm. day I had their basket. The basket was just fries and I think I had eight really nice sized shrimp mm -hmm. for 15. Tonight I had the dinner. $22, but you get fries. There was, I didn't count, there was way more than eight shrimp. Yeah. And, and coleslaw know. and two really big hush puppies yeah. whew, for 22 bucks. So, yeah, <laughs> I would definitely, if you get to Bluffton, I would definitely go right over there. Captain, Captain Woody's. Woody's. I guess they also have a location out on the island, too. So, all right, let's take a little stroll through town. All right. feel like in these videos all we do is eat i think that's all we record <laughs> <laughs> i know people think no wonder they're fat <laughs> <laughs> i mean we do eat but that's all we record is eating right we do other things like we walked three miles i had on my i could tell you now how many miles i walked but i don't think anybody wants to watch us walk I mean, I mean we walked all over the resort today I got in, oh my gosh, 8,960 steps, four miles. And now you're having, having a Rita's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I guess it's time we go hitch up. Yeah, we need to hitch up. Pack up, be ready to roll out ready to go. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning. It is literally two days later. Yesterday, well, it was just crazy. Uh, we drove through heavy rain, and then when it finally got beautiful out, the high winds, which made last week's high winds look like a summer breeze, kicked in, and there were times it was scary. So we did not make it back to Dayton, Ohio, like we'd planned. We ended up stopping short here in Georgetown, Kentucky, at Cracker Barrel. So I just picked up our breakfast order. We're gonna have breakfast, and then we're gonna take this on home. Here's my last piece of advice. Don't list your RV for sale on Facebook on April 1st. Everybody thinks it's a joke, but it's not. Our RV is for sale. We're gonna see. Maybe there's a buyer out there, and we have something in mind, but you'll just have to stay tuned to see what that is. This could be the last trip in tax for us. I don't know, we'll see. Or maybe nobody buys tax, and we have them for another few years. All right, thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. We're gonna be doing more of these. So if you like them, great. If you don't, sorry. <laughs>